are you Chris? You're Chris. Meet Chris and Pamela Dunn uh, here in our uh, front row. They look happy, don't they? Well, they are. <laughs> They're very happy. You're married. They met via computer terminals. True? How, how did this happen? And were you, uh, <laughs> were you alone or were you on the, at work or how? Okay, no, I, I was alone at home and I was using a terminal to access CompuServe and utilizing the CB network. This is going back a few years now when it was young and not that many people around. And uh, Chris and I started talking to each other. At first I didn't even know he was male because we were both using handles to have that anonymity, Zebra 3. And I was Christos, which is a computer term. And um, we got to talk to each other quite frequently and finally started having parties. That became the big thing in CB to do, was to have actual parties so people could meet each other. And he came to Chicago from New York, and we met and made history. <laughs> uh, the, 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 What's a party like? Well, they started out as just being local get-togethers. I mean, you go over, you have your potato chips. And oh, oh, you mean physically uh, through the through the terminal, uh, a date and a place was uh, arranged. Yeah. Well, you found that you were talking to three people. They lived next door, around the block. I get it. Then they began to become national parties. I flew to San Francisco to meet some people just to have a nice time. Was didn't have anything to do with sex or any of this other stuff. Right. We were just enjoying each other's company and talking to each other. The thing about the computers is, is that it's just a tool. People are doing the same thing with that they've done for ages. Letter writing, uh, printing pamphlets right. or whatever. It's not the computer, it's the people running them. Uh, Pamela, you did say that you were honest to tell uh, our producer that uh, you're, you're a shy person. You probably aren't the kind who was likely to be found in a singles bar. Oh, absolutely not. And I found that this is an incredible way to meet not just, you know, a potential spouse, but friends, people that, people you have things yeah. in common with, yeah. people that you don't have things in common with, but ways to broaden your horizon through yeah. encountering and, and you these people. don't have to be a techie type. She's a zookeeper. It's just that she had access to a computer terminal. You work for a zoo? Yeah, Lincoln Park, Chicago. Uh -huh. uh, and I assume you can tell a jerk on the on the on the screen, oh, maybe even easier than you would be able to. Huh? It takes practice. You get suckered in a few oh, times. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, I mean, That's sometimes normal. the people you're talking. That's normal. To, sure, there's no guarantees when you meet them. Uh, no. Yeah. You can be talking to a 12-year-old and not know it, but eventually you you do figure it out. There's pretty slick 12-year-olds around. Yeah. In fact, many of the uh, yes, ma'am. You had a question. Maybe I've been lucky, but the people I've met on the bulletin boards have been great. Oh, you, you are a, uh, wh what would you call yourself? A you, user. A user. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> all. I, I, no, go ahead. well, as far as I'm concerned, it just means I use it. I'm not a programmer, even though I know some programming. Um, but I had a problem, for example, a few days ago with how to use one of my word processing programs, and I put it onto three boards, and I'm sure I'll have tons of answers when I get home. Now, am I understand that all of you in this area are users? <laughs> you know, user has become a bad word in, its, uh, in our culture, but we won't, uh, we won't suggest that you're doing anything wrong. Uh, is this a nightly uh, hobby for you? Well, when I started using it, uh, it was very interesting. There was a lot